My name's Robin Beeman, a marine geologist in Cairns, Australia. Often my wife asks me, am I at sea at the moment? Because I might be walking around the house in deep thought. So I'm having to jump between being at sea and being at home all the time. The, the Queensland Plateau, this giant area, and it's got these 30 large coral atolls on it. We actually have a, a pretty good understanding of the coral reefs in that say top 20 meters of it. But anything deeper, we really don't know. And yet this whole Queensland Plateau is part of the Coral Sea Marine Park. The Coral Sea Marine Park is one of the largest marine reserves anywhere on earth. The Falcor, with its advanced mapping technologies, really is an opportunity to get out there and map the sides of these, these coral atolls. It's detail that we've never had before, but the modern multi beam technology brings shape to the seafloor. It is the first time anyone has ever seen this because you do need this, you know, really advanced technology like the Sebastian to go down into these depths. And when we got our first picture, in, that was really something to see. Very heavily covered in canyons, the landslides, the scale is really amazing. Where you actually are seeing the rock strata, but then the marine life that's living in amongst it. Fish and crabs and cold water corals that are attached to the rock. Stalked crinoids, sea lilies, you know, that have existed in the fossil record going back hundreds of millions of years. And yet here they are relict and living down in these cold, dark depths. I'm just completely overwhelmed by the, I guess the geology that's being revealed and also the animal life that's being shown living amongst it. At the moment, the Great Barrier Reef is undergoing its uh, third mass bleaching event. A big question is, is that bleaching being experienced in the deeper corals? From what we've seen so far within the Falcor imagery, we have not seen evidence of bleaching so by bringing the, both the topography, which comes from the mapping, and also the ROV imagery, it's, it better informs managers who are, whose role it is, is to, to look after the park. We're looking for drowned reefs. It's all about giving context to what's happening in the future. These drowned reefs are little libraries of climate change. The, the chemistry of the water, the environment which they lived, they lived in, are locked up in the coral skeleton. When they die, that's, that remains there. It's a great partnership between the Falcor, the scientists and the managers. Around all of that is the general public, so they can be part of that discovery as well. It's pure exploration and it's on earth and I love it.